Hey guys, welcome back to Casa de la Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for checking out another podcast, all the uh, three, four of you guys that are that are here. Um, but hopefully this video finds you guys okay. Um, today is Saturday for us. So um, I know, like I said, we're just trying to keep up our, our schedule with posting at least twice a week. <laughs> so We're trying. <laughs> yes, we're definitely trying. But um, today we're going to talk about um, our the day I proposed, or I decided to propose to Judith. So she could become my woman full time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I know for her, it was super awkward and super weird. It's cringe. <laughs> yeah, that's the word. Like, cringe. It was cringe. Embarrassing. But I, I, thought it, I thought my idea was nice. And she did give me some ideas to, to do. But I, I decided to do something You know, for all different. the women out there, I'm sure that everyone <laughs> gives them hints of how you want to be proposed. He did the total opposite. The complete total opposite. And looking back... I just know that my wife, she's always right, 110,000% of the time. And if I decide to do something that's not what she said, it usually ends up with me getting in trouble or something just not working out. So I should have listened in hindsight, but I'm glad I did it anyway because it was really funny to me. So <laughs> It was in your face said it otherwise. You were kind of like... You were being cringe as well. I was just, not. Yeah. I, I, I tried to be as romantic as possible, but... I know that she has always loved the princess cut diamond for um, any type of ring. So I knew that that was the ring I wanted to get her for her engagement ring. So with that, I think I, I went to Jared like one day and I wanted to get like a really nice ring. And they're like, hey, how you doing? You know, I should, you know, have my account with them. I have my account with them. And they're like, hey, you know, we want you to... Um, uh, you know, take a look at all of these rings and things like that. And uh, everything was out of our price range. Everything was. Yeah, up. you don't realize how expensive rings are. Yes. And I'm not, I'm not a big jewelry person, as you could tell. I don't even wear <laughs> my rings. Um, <laughs> honestly, I think I wore my wedding band. It's like a plastic, like yeah, rubber, that, that, that rubber. Groove life, the groove it's, life it's one. A, yeah. It's a Spider-Man one. I don't care. That one's nice. Yeah, me, it, those but. are really cool. I, I definitely agree. And I, I was just, I, I was kind of like intimidated because like I didn't have the amount of money they were looking for. And I was like, you know what? I'll come back. <laughs> and I walked just, out. I don't see why wedding rings or even wedding bands, like we have yet to actually get uh, yeah, a wedding, wedding band, bands because yeah. they're I mean, so we, expensive we, for Now we no have reason. the means to do it. Yeah, I you're right. I just don't feel like spending that much money to get a wedding band when in reality, I just don't feel like wearing them. I mean, some ladies do, and, and that's and that's perfectly fine for, for for you all. But I know just with with Judith, I know she's just never been that materialistic lady, and I, that's why I, that's one of the reasons why I love about her. And not not saying that I don't want to spend the money because she's w well worth it, but I just know that um, getting the engagement ring was really important, and I didn't want to spend that amount of money, even though I had the credit card. I think the limit I have was like sixty five hundred or something like that, so I, I could have got it. But no I issue. think even even if he would have spent that much money, I would have probably gotten pissed if he spent that much money. Yeah. So when I found out how much the ring was actually worth, I was like, yeah, I'm not wearing this. <laughs> this stays in my. So I, I asked my dad to help because I knew, and he he was he was over the moon about it. He was like, I got you. It's like he didn't even second guess it. He was like, yeah, whatever you need, I got you. So I think I took him a couple weeks later. And uh, he was just happy for me because he loves Judith, you know. So he was just very happy that I was taking the next step finally. And he came with me to purchase the ring. I picked, I looked at maybe 12 different rings, all princess cut diamonds and stuff like that. And, you know, I tried to get one with, like, the least amount of... Um... But you got an oval. Did, did I? It, yeah. was, it was a princess cut oval, right? No. Yes, it was. Mm -mm. It is. Mm -mm. Yes, it is. No, isn't the princess cut the square? No. Whatever the one he, whatever the one you have, it's a princess cut diamond. That's what he told me. So that's what I purchased. <laughs> so you're wrong. Okay. Anyway, she loved I thought, it regardless. I thought the princess cut was like the square one. No, oh, no, no, no. no you're, you're wrong. Oh, you're, <laughs> I know you're wrong. Anyway, uh, I got it. And then um, my dad was just really happy for me that I was able to get it. So um, we, I took her out, I think about a month later. This was, when did, when did, when did I propose? Do you remember the date specifically? Because it was, we got married in 2021. But when did when did I because we were for, was we, it our anniversary? That were, you were we engaged for a year or two years? Yeah, we were engaged for one year. For one year, so it was like twenty. So it was. It was twenty twenty. It was during remember. the pandemic, huh? Yeah, I just don't remember. Yeah, because we were wearing our mask. Remember? Ah, you are correct. You are correct. So it was. It had to be the year before. So it was twenty twenty then. Mm -hmm. So it was September twenty twenty, and 
I had planned, like, I, I know this is what she had hinted at. She, we had a balcony at our apartment complex or our, our um, what's it called? How do you, what's the other word for it? Condo, condo whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah. And she had mentioned, she, she had mentioned in passing that I just love a just little candlelit dinner on the patio with you. Uh, we can just hang out. And I subliminally, I, I knew at that point she was just kind of seeding or putting the plants and seeding my brain with just ways of, of what how I to... want it. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, Hmm, that sounds kind of lame. You're not. Like, hmm, let me not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't like the attention drawn to us. Yeah. And so I just, I never wanted anything to be out in the public where people see, you know, there's those big engagements and then people yeah. are clapping. I don't like that at all. I will probably say no. It's just because it's in the middle of everybody watching. I'll probably walk away just because I will get like a panic attack or like an anxiety attack. And I'll just be like, uh, and my reason, and, and I knew this and my reasoning behind wanting to go to where we, we went to the botanical gardens here in Houston and I believed that it was going to be this nice spot. I, I looked for 15 different places in Houston where you could propose your <laughs> ideas. And I was, oh, man, I love all these ideas. And I narrowed it down to the botanical gardens. And we went, and it was nice and warm outside. It wasn't super hot, but it was nice and warm outside. And I, I thought it was going to be empty because it was during the pandemic. But I was wrong. There's a lot of people so there, a lot of Howdy. children and, and families, and everybody was taking pictures. Ooh, ah, oh my god! Because I think this. he initially the night before we actually went to dinner, but originally you wanted to go that night somewhere else besides yes. just dinner. Yeah. And I remember we have this bad habit of always getting dressed. It's not that we get dressed late or we take a long time. So you go sit there a lot of these people about how <laughs> how it we, long it takes for you to get dressed. Okay. It doesn't take me that long. I just, Baby, I don't have I'd be that ready much in less than five minutes. Like shower clean, booty wiped, uh, deodorant <laughs> on, all the above. I'm sitting in the car. I got to wait in the 45 minutes to get her in the car. It's just because I don't have clothes. I really, I, you, are, I really, you will look beautiful with just a simple dress, which you have many of. No, I don't. I probably have like three dresses. Like if y'all would honestly look in my closet, I mostly have leggings sweatpants and every kind of hoodie you could think of but i do not own many skirts i do not own many dresses i don't really own many heels and even the heels <laughs> that i did i recently threw them all away because i'm uh, like i don't even use oh these. my goodness i really don't have that much dress of clothes but even though we didn't have the opportunity to go that night because i was going to do it that night i believe but then you um, dropped off the kids really late I'm yeah honest. we did so we we decided to go the next day during the daytime so I ended up, I tried to find the perfect spot in the botanical gardens, but everywhere I was going to sit, sit down and kneel, people would walk <laughs> by. And I didn't want people to bust down and be like, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, baby, look, look, get the, get the camera, oh my gosh, look what they're doing, oh my God, oh my God. I didn't want them to do that, so I was like, dang it, dang it, dang it. So, you went to a public place, what else I did know, you expect? Still, I, wanted it, I didn't want it to be with so many people, so when we got there, I was like, dang, man, look how this thing so, and then he kept he kept trying to and I and I think at one did point you know the whole time? I kind of know at first first of all I'm not really a big garden plants I don't really like she likes roses them die. she likes them die all the time I just don't <laughs> care to take care of them like it just doesn't appeal to me and it's funny because my last name is Rose I don't like roses like I just don't I don't know I never did when we used to date I remember the flowers or anything that he used to give them. I'd be like, oh, thank you. You know, I didn't want to be rude. And then I was just handing more to my mom and be like, here you go, mom. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but, you know, it's just the, the fact that I don't even like, you know, I, honestly, I'm like a grass person. You lay down grass for me and I'm more than happy. But then he took me to this place where there's like different flowers and I'm just staring at this stuff like. This is boring AF. <laughs> So I, I, I found a way, I, I found a little, um, a little, uh, a little place, uh, around the corner on the side of the park and there wasn't a lot of people there. So, um, what I was able to do was that I, I was going to get down on one knee and she was, she saw, she saw what I was doing. She's like, no, 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 not here. Not right now. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, cause so. he fir you first started talking <laughs> to me about like, um, which is kind of, you know, that conversation that a lot of, I guess. Men have, and they're like, "Oh, you know this about you, and this oh, and that." You know, I've and loved so you for when, so many years. Yes, and, and you're so the then one for me. I was just like, "No, he did not. No, he has not <laughs> about here." So, and mind oh you, we've been goodness. together for so long that at this point, I'm like, I don't even care. 
Like, please don't I think, do this. I think if I was asked her in the kitchen or washing dishes or making food, she would have said, I would have been yes, just babe. fine. Just, yes. just give you it away. You could have asked me in the couch while I'm in my pee days. <laughs> and I'm sitting there trying to be all extravagant and I'll be like and romantic not only about that, it. I remember when I was trying to get dressed that day, um, I had. Um, what did I have? Oh, I was about fixing to go in sweatpants and a hoodie. And I was like, and please then, don't. Put no, some no. On. You, you said, oh, yeah, baby, that's fine. And I'm just like, I was, something told me, no, wear something nicer. So I wore like my Astro shirt. Yeah, and my uh, blue and jean nice skirt. That's what we're banging them. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, and I remember we were at a section. I kept pulling him because I kind of started realizing. So every corner that we would go, I would literally pull him. And then people, more people would come. And I was just, I literally just wanted to run out of there. I did. And then we ended up, kept, we kept walking and everything. And we finally, he told me to sit down because oh. I guess he noticed that <laughs> I kept dragging him. And then he sat me down in an area, but there were so many people yeah, just walking around. And then he kept talking to me. And then I was just, I felt like I literally felt so awkward. I don't know why. And then I remember he told me to close my eyes, but I didn't even fully close my eyes. I was honestly like this, and I was just watching, like, who's coming by? Like, <laughs> is there anyone passing? And I pulled and it then, in, and I was all sweaty and just all nervous and shake. I was like, and pulled then it as out. Soon like, as, oh. as soon as he pulled <laughs> it down, out, I grabbed him, and I sat him down. And I was like, please don't do this right now. <laughs> I, was like, I, was, I, just, okay. I killed well, the I was whole like, will you marry me, him. please? And she was like, yes, just give me the ring. And I slapped it on her fat little <laughs> finger. And then I was like, oh, my God. Because it didn't even fit me either. <laughs> yes, it did. No. Oh, you're right. It didn't fit you. That's a little sausage <laughs> finger she got. It did not fit her. You, you're right. I think you took my promise ring that you took from me. Um, You took the promise ring that you gave me years ago, and you tried oh. to get it the same size. <laughs> huh? What did you say? Oh, No, because so. that ring still fit me. Do mm -hmm. I still have that ring? I'm sure you do. Um, so that ring still fit me, but for some reason, the engagement ring made, made my the band itself. look, I think it was just tighter. Yeah, it, it was, it was really, it made, it kind of squeezed on it, you know? Yeah. So I, I, I took it back and got a resize and it fit her perfectly. Yeah. So I think she needed like a six and a half or a seven. I think the ring that I proposed to her with was a six, the band itself. So yeah, it, it, I have little fingers. You got little sausage fingers but that you got. the bottom, they're very fat for my finger. I don't know. Maybe it's because I always pop my fingers. It's nasty. <laughs> they're all crooked. But um, she she did say yes, and it was just so it was. I was ecstatic because I knew that just from the beginning that uh, we were going to be together, and I, I just knew that everything was kind of coming together with her. And I was I really really wanted it to be official, and you know so we'll, we'll talk about like our our our, <laughs> our our marriage, how we got how we got married and everything like that later. But um, it was really funny to see her scream and, yeah. and, and, and squibble like I, a, I think, a little piggy. She's well, like, when we stop got, it, stop it, don't do that. And when we got into the car, I think that's when I was like, are you serious right now? <laughs> she was upset and happy at the same time. Because she she loved the ring. She loved it. It wasn't a little dot. It wasn't like the biggest thing in the world either. But it, it was a nice size engagement ring in my humble opinion. I think it was a, I think I didn't spend anything over, how much was it again? It was like 30 3500 I think it was like 3200 I think that was the highest it was. I don't remember. Too much for what I Look, my dad's a care so that's all that matters. So I didn't have to pay anything. So I, I had to I had to give it, I had told her like a little, little white lie. I paid half of it, which I did not. Uh, my dad took care of the you whole You didn't pay no, half of it? No, I thought I told you. No, you did pay half of it. Did you I? You did. You did. You know how I know? Because I got into your Jared account and I had to take oh, care of the Oh, yeah. I, I I promised you that my dad took care of it. No, he told me, he's like, I'll pay half of you, baby. He said, like, I'll pay 30, and like the three thing is, of it. The, the thing is that I pretty much deal with all the finances and getting our bills paid because we do share an account. So either way, I had to. Well, it was for you. Our, it no, was no, no, only for you. I know that, you. but then I'm like, damn, now I got to pay this bill too. <laughs> But no, I was I was I really mean, happy we, though. We were still young though, um, at the time too. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we're making the best out of it <laughs> from what we made. <laughs> <laughs> but hopefully, well, I mean, I've been wanting to get a, a regular band though, but um, like a like it's a black a black band because the 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 Groove Life one that I have, the Spider Man one, it's like I don't know if my fingers got bigger, yeah. but what'd you say, girl? I bust you up. <laughs> I think it's too big or too small now, so mm -hmm. I, I'd like to get... <laughs> you be quiet, please. <laughs> I want to get, like, a regular band. We'll see, though. 
Um, I'm not too big on jewelry myself, but we'll see. Yeah, neither one of us are. Yeah, I don't. I don't like the. I don't like. Because even right. like, um, I got him a bracelet a while back, years ago, a nice bracelet. Never I've never. I didn't. It. I wore it that one time. She got it. She got it for me. I. I, I didn't put it back on. Yeah. I'm not a jewelry person. I told you that. You still got it for me. Because I think you look nice with I it. I don't, baby. I don't like having anything on this body. Especially when we you. go to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when we go to dinner, like I would like for you to. No, just wear you, some you know stuff. I think she. I, I think you know. You know I love uh, love about you when you put those big hoop earrings on and then you chew gum. That's my favorite. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite look. I don't even have those anymore. Yeah, I know. I'm sad about it, but um, no, I never really like jewelry. I just I I hope that um I don't know maybe I'll have an affinity for it when I get older, but I don't I don't you care. Probably for it like still that. won't. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, you don't even wear the watches I've gotten you. Where am I gonna wear them to? We don't go nowhere. You don't take me out nowhere. You don't want to dime me. <laughs> 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 oh man! Mm. But yeah, that that's pretty much um, our proposal story. It wasn't. It, it was pretty funny. I mean, I'm, I'm now that we think about it. Yeah, because I, I wish that somebody was there to record us. Just he didn't even do that. Awkwardly. He didn't I even tried get to... somebody. You know, that's the thing. I was waiting for somebody to come around so I can have someone take a picture. I just ended up taking the pictures myself. I was like, you this is too awkward. Take pictures I did take some pictures. I did. They're my phone. You, you didn't see them. No, those are pictures that I took. No, you did. How are you going to take pictures of you? Because I'm the one with the camera like this. Selfie. Oh, just, just <laughs> ugly. It's just, it's just ugly. I took the pictures. No, you did it. Yes, I, I took a couple. I took a nice one sent to my mom and my family. Look, I was like, look what happened. Look what I did. Oh, you're talking about the one with my hand? Yes, your fat little sausage finger hand. <laughs> <laughs> I look at back, the ring looks so small in it your does. finger. It does, <laughs> it does. It looked like it was squeezing my... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, but... Oh um, man. That's but, why I haven't lost weight oh, either since <laughs> then. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> I can't do it with you, girl. But I, I hope that you guys, y- y'all found that funny um, or um, <laughs> cringe worthy. It was cringe. Very uh, cringe. But next time we'll talk about um, our, our wedding and um, how that how that experience was for us. But um, th- yeah, the entire experience for us getting engaged was really funny because I, I thought I was being romantic, <laughs> but it ended up being just a, a really sweaty experience because it was just that warm Man, day outside it was hot outside it was it like, wasn't that bad it was like 1 2 p.m like probably the hottest time it, w- it was rather warm rather yeah warm. let's just, just say he was carrying a little towel in his back pocket oh like, yeah I was, I was like you, should have pat me. you know you can black folks you got to carry that towel man i keep your forehead clean <laughs> glistening you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying you know make sure you wipe your mouth off with that sweat and everything but um yeah, next time we'll talk about our wedding and see how that goes. But um, thank y'all for just you know taking the time to check us check us out again. And um, you have anything to say? No, nope. I think we're good to go. Okay, well, <laughs> I hope y'all take care of yourselves, be well, and I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Of Gossip Bye guys. <laughs>